Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Here we are again. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to be talking about a TV show called Quincy M.E. This is one of those shows like Star Trek, the original series, is ingrained in my mind as a kid growing up. It is about a medical examiner. I think it started in 1976 to 1983 it ran, and it started as TV movies. Uh, it started with um, also another favorite of mine, Columbo, McLeod, McMillan, well, McMillan and wife. It's that era of television. I loved it. I mean, looking back, you could say we're, we're in the era of the best television ever. You know, debatable in that sense. But looking back, you know, these are things that stick with you as a kid. This was Jack Klugman from The Odd Couple, from many other things. And he's just so lovable and good in his role. I think it's basically based off a uh, California coroner, uh, but it had its roots in some things uh, on television before. It's not a, uh, you know, a formula you see much. I guess you can go with, um, who was the chick who had the show recently? Well, I mean, somewhat recently. Anyway, it's one of those, you know, it had its own format. It would be a medical examiner who solves the case. And he's just so uh, personable. It feels like you know you grow up with a family member in, in that way. Jack Klugman brings that out, especially in The Odd Couple, obviously. But in this, too, I think it's one of my favorite of his work in that way. He has a great uh, um, Twilight Zone episode, too. But Quincy Emmy. Excellent show. I even think it holds up, although you have to be into that formula. You know, now you could see it's much more hard hitting, and I guess you could see Hill Street Blues and NYPD Blue, you know, bringing the hard edge to it, the realism to it. This still had a throwback. I guess you could say also, in, in a way, where I, when I grew up, it was the generation, older generation, saying, you know, oh, we don't have movie stars like we used to, you know, TV, this and that. And I think that's where it comes from with me, where Jack Klugman was just uh, such a rare personality and a great actor, and he just fit this perfectly. Maybe it's a, you know, uh, you know, perfect storm. You have the great cast that comes into it, and it starts off like I, the, the Night Stalker, one of my favorite shows. That's a TV movie, and then by 1977, it becomes... Uh, you know, an hour show with episodes. There's some great actors that have been on this show. A lot of these shows, I think they're all basically um, like a Glenn A, Glenn Lawson, that type of production you know, back in the day where he had all the TV. Um, but you got a, a body would come in. Uh, there were different elements to the show where they might feature his personal life and uh, highlight things in the past. You find out he was uh, in the Navy, things like that. But for the most part, body showed up. You got to figure out how to uh, solve the case. And it's always Quincy who comes up with it. And he's, you know, at odds with his boss and uh, the police in that way. I mean, it always comes down to him, uh, you know, solving the case in the long run. I think it's like 148 episodes um, there's one episode where, uh, uh, has anybody seen Quincy? And it's like, uh, he talks about him, but he's not in the episode. I love this whole run. I, I, I'm surprised how much it holds up for me. Unlike a podcast I might not ever do, which is Chips. And I remember as a kid, fucking really enjoying motorcycles and cops. Oh, because I used to like, uh, those, um, other shows, one Adam, uh, Adam 12 or one Adam 12 and the firefighter one, whatever. I used to, I, I, I like those shows, but thinking back and then going back and revisiting chips was horrible. It's 
Ugh, I don't want to talk about that experience. Quincy, I've gone back in joy. It's, you know, it is a nostalgia thing. But if I want to be critical, I think it could hold up. And it was a really good show. And I'm a big fan. I'll do probably one on Columbo. Another thing is these things that you grow up, you know, it comes out in 1976 when I'm five years old. Um, and just when I'm getting older and everything's in reruns and I'm watching Star Trek and it's Quincy. I've made mention that I don't remember too much, but my family says Dinosaur was like a, uh, like an Oprah back then, you know, she had a ton of daytime show. I even remember some fucking, um, you know, general hospital shit, you know, when you had no choice growing up, but I don't look back at them like this. This is great. Um, great period of television. Uh, I like all these mystery, you know, murder mystery type things. Um, you know, and it had his procedure that you'll get used to and his assistant, the way he talks to everybody. He's just a lovable actor, a lovable character he's playing in that way. But he has his, um, you know, his morals and, you know, he'll stick to his gun sort of aspect to him. I recommend watching Quincy Emmy. I think it's uh, a great television for its time and a really good show overall. Like I said, I will admit to this, you know, being mesmerized as a kid. And I just love the uh, whodunit books and the, all the mystery stuff. You know, I was into all that stuff and even the uh, pick your own adventure things and just... A big part of my childhood, and believe it or not, Quincy Emmy is there. It just still stands out to me. Uh, I watched it not even more than a year ago in its entirety. I just love him. Just can watch it all the time. Now, I think there is something to be said about, because even I would argue I can't watch more than like four or five seasons of Law and Order or whatever. A uh, reality show would be like Survivor, which I loved for, you know, three or four seasons, but I'm done with it. I just don't have an interest. I can see, okay, we got a procedural show, it's a whodunit, that type thing, and is not something that is going to carry over and keep people interested. But if it has its run and it, 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 it marks a time when, you know, again, Columbo, he's the detective part and same type of formula where you know at some point something's going to clue him in and he's going to go, aha, and like turn around and ask a question. And Quincy's like, just that formula. So it's not so like unique and uh, in that aspect, but when you got an actor like Jack Klugman playing the role and feels passionate, he feels like real in the, in the role. And maybe that goes towards his talent. Or like I said, a perfect storm of just bringing the right people together. I mean, sometimes that's what it is. But when you hear a name like Glenn A. Lawson, and you can remember it from your childhood, I mean, my age, born in 71, you know, how many, his name was on like so many shows, it's not funny. So, you know, yeah, we'll give him credit. Um, you know, yeah, you're going to bring certain talent to it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think uh, Glenn A. Lawson is responsible for the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew. Uh, and I've done already a uh, podcast on uh, Buck Rogers or Battlestar Galactica. So, yeah, give them credit. Give um, you know, the people credit for putting together a pretty good show that I can watch right now. I don't feel the way it's dated. Yeah, I mean, you can pick that up immediately. I think we all find you know that you know, we're watching a show from the 70s or early 80s for the most part but i am gonna totally recommend this show it's just like again it, it might be uh the fanboy in me just this nostalgia i have for the show but i think if i'm trying to be neutral and it's a really good show that uh is worth revisiting and checking out if you never did uh if you're interested in jack clubman great actor in it um you know, I mean, it's a binge, I guess, 148 episodes, but I think it's considered to have 
eight seasons, but when you consider season one and two, you know, and then it getting like sort of re-released, uh, it's spread out over the time period. We'll see. All right. This was a fun one. I really uh, enjoy so much of the show. Like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the side characters, his assistant, and it just it just works on a lot of levels. And that aha moment. Yeah, it can get a little old, but I enjoy it. Anyway, Quincy Emmy, great show for my childhood. I recommend it. Give it a shot. Watch him. You'll see why Jack Klugman is so charismatic and so loved. Take care, everybody. Be well. Stay safe.